A 2014 video of Pete Buttigieg on a local news channel is making its rounds online. And in that video, he talks about Black Lives Matter, which of course was a movement that came up as a result of unarmed black people getting shot and killed by police. And he also comments on Blue Lives Matter, which was a response to Black Lives Matter. Let's take a look at what he had to say. What strikes me is that there are groups of people concerned about two different issues. They're being portrayed like they're on two different sides, but they're not even talking about the same thing. We're talking about two different things. And one of those is the way that race is playing a role in our criminal justice system. And the other is about the safety of police officers who go out there every day and risk their lives. And I fear that we're being led down this path that you have to choose between being pro-minority, pro-equal rights, and being pro-police. I believe it's not only possible, but fundamentally necessary for everybody in our community to feel that they are pro-minority and pro-police. Before we comment on the video, I want to give you some more context. So this is from Walker Bragman, who's a journalist, and he tweeted this, the video and the context. Controversy began after Eric Gardner's death and the Notre Dame women's basketball team wearing I can't breathe shirts. A local police officer began selling breathe easy shirts. Members of South Bend City Council asked vendors to stop selling them, but Buttigieg stayed neutral. So that's the context behind this conversation. Well, let me give you broader context. Go, go to tyt.com slash investigates, read all the stories coming out of South Bend. Buttigieg, we, John Larson did an amazing job of finding basically summaries of the police calls that happened in South Bend, where they said, we have access to Buttigieg's donors. And as soon as he is elected, he's gonna fire the black police chief and white people are gonna be back in charge. And then Buttigieg did in fact fire the black police chief and then he got flack for it. So he did his usual middle ground and he said, all right, fine, I'll demote him. But put a white person in charge of the police department. And and now a lot of the African American cops have been driven from that police department. And then Buttigieg just constantly being the politician that he is, trying to play both sides. Oh, Sure, black lives matter, so do blue lives matter. No, 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 but look, black lives matter means Black lives matter as well, okay? They should matter just as much as any other life. And the problem is that they are not. Whereas when blue lives matter comes in, they're juxtaposing it on purpose to black lives matter, saying, "Oh yeah, cops matter. But nobody thinks that cops lives don't matter. What they're saying implicitly is cops lives matter more. Now that's all the difference in the world for African Americans in this country to say, hey, remember our lives matter also. Right? And cops say, "Oh yeah, blue lives matter, meaning my life matters more than you. And that is, look, if you're a cop and you're pissed at me saying that, you know that in every one of the precincts, you guys all have a saying, better to be judged by 12 than carried out by six. What does that mean? That means I'd rather take your life than risk my own. That's exactly what that means. So don't tell me about how your life doesn't matter. The whole society puts you on a pedestal. When you go testify in, in juries, everybody believes you now, which I find preposterous. I mean, we've now shown hundreds of cases of cops lying on the stand. Does every cop lie? Of course not. Is every cop a bad guy? Not remotely, okay? But are there a lot of cops who have that attitude? Of course they do. So after the all of society structures all the rules around you and to protect you even after you've killed someone, for you to rub it in by going, oh yeah, blue lives matter means that my life matters more than you. It's all the difference in the world. But Buttigieg doesn't want to take any risks. He doesn't have any courage, so he goes, oh sure, sure, sure. What do you need, cops? You want me to be your buddy? Yeah, I'll fire the black police chief, and then, and then, oh, African Americans, you're upset. All right, fine, I'll demote him. Okay, your yep. lives matter. Your lives matter. What else do you need? Because I'm not here to have principles. I'm here to be a, a greasy politician. Emma, you always make this point, I think it's a good one, about how Pete Buttigieg is great at speaking without really saying anything. And this next clip, I think, is a good demonstration of that. Before we go to it, though, let me just note that it has to do with police body cameras. And it wasn't until April of 2018 that South Bend started forcing their cops to wear the body cams. And then he announced his presidency or candidacy for president April of 2019. Take a look. Do you have any concerns besides money and technology? Do you have any concerns about officers wearing body cameras? There are a lot of concerns. There are a lot of issues to work through, legal issues, privacy issues. But this is also something we have to take seriously, and we are, and we're looking into it. But again, 
this is about uh, this isn't about technology any more than it's about t-shirts. This is about us. This is about our values. This is about our community. And we've got to do this together. And those of us in elected leadership have to ask ourselves of everything we're doing, is this going to drive people apart or is it going to pull us together? Once again, values. So why is it a value that cops shouldn't have body cams so that they don't get caught? By the way, uh, on the tapes, Buttigieg buried the tapes. And why? So the cops wouldn't get caught. The African American community in South Bend has deep problems with Buttigieg. That's because he has never been responsive to them. And now he's pretending that he's a big fan of that community now that he's running for president. Please spare us. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.